Hello everyone, and today I'm back with me, still train with 318. Let's have some entertaining chess. Let's have fun and let's go. All right, let's go to tactics. Solve tactics. There we go. All right. All right. Hold on. I think it is Russian, but it is good. And maybe play can have C. No! Oops, I actually rushed. Okay, can D6? Like Rook A8, probably? Mm hmm. Okay, that, that is quite simple. That is also extremely simple. Oi! Yeah. Warmed up with some 18 ones and now something sweaty. <laughs> Okay, what if I do 92, then 94, I'm going to have 6. I know that maybe it's Russian, but continue. Takes. Oh, let's go. Nice. <laughs> okay, what is here? We need 6, King G7. Uh, King G7, Queen E7. Oh, Queen E7, I think, yeah, nice, should not give any problems for me. Queen H6 and Queen H4, Queen 4 there we go, nice. Okay, that seems a bit harder. Uh. Hmm, D take C, it's... <laughs> Actually, we were maybe good looking. Good move. Knight c3 and knight e4. Knight c3 definitely looks so cool. Queen c3, queen c7. Let's go! Uh, rook a2, b2, rook a2, king b1, b4, king c1. Knight e3, king b1, I have a draw. But I want to win, so it's okay. I did. Boom. Boom, boom, and basically, king is there. I go rook c2, king b1, rook c2, and win. If king d1, there is bishop f3, king e1, knight d3, king f1, rook f2, or rook c1. Not so easy. Okay. And rook h7. Ah, looks quite good. Rook h7, a6. A. No, not A takes B. B takes A. Yeah, I think Rook H7 definitely is great. Look and move and then just C7. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 95 of takes C. Rook F8. 95, Rook E5, Queen F8. It's also quite simple puzzle. Oh, they have this 1600 puzzles all the time. I don't know. Knight e5, f takes e, bishop e4. If d takes e, there is queen d2. If f takes e, there is rook f2. If bishop b7 after knight e5, there is knight d3. Nice. Another one, okay. h6, bf6, g5. Hmm. Interesting. It should be good, but at least interesting. Huh. 94 is also interesting. 97 is interesting, but I'm not sure if it's good. I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know, I'll try H6. Continue. Okay. <laughs> G5, BG, next takes. Yeah, I guess G5. Mm. 
हैं Here is where I may struggle. I mean, this is rook c g eight or queen of three. One of those, I think, or maybe knight. Nah, knight. Nah, nah, knight d four. Rook h, rook c g eight, and knight d four. Uh huh. D four, queen f three, and then uh, yeah, maybe queen f three. Rook h two. Oh, I'm not sure. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> quite laggy, quite laggy. Uh, queen g seven. He takes the knight f five and mate. Nice, nice, and mate. There you go. Uh, rook e eight. Well, on queen seven, he takes rook eight and bd6. Nice! <laughs> Club champion, you rank! That's cool! Look at that! A little soft. Nice. Alright, let's go to play chess. It was quite good solving. Got 2600 back. Uh, let's play 10 0. Um, meanwhile, I'm waiting for open and solve more puzzles. In 1600 again. Basically, rook h8, second a rook. We take 27, if not, then queen f6. Let's see. Knight g3. And then, I mean, knight g4, rook e7. Knight f3, yeah, knight g3, definitely. And basically, and bishop and knight hangs, and here, rook e7, I think, works. And then, do I take it on knight f5, or do I play knight f5 immediately? This question. Um, hmm. Most look very good. I don't know. Uh-huh. Uh uh -huh. Maybe it was two moves. <coughs> I'm not sure. Uh, 92, queen a2, queen h6. No, that actually doesn't work as yet, like 92. Bishop c2 is interesting. Knight d4 is also interesting. Queen h6. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I think queen h6. Yep, and then basically just take windy to the restrict it, and that should be really nice. Ooh, 25-29. Oh boy. That is spicy. Ninety-five C takes D. D5, C takes D, Rook 7. And Rook F3 is there. And let me not go back. And he just goes Rook F6. <coughs> they don't see that big of a threat, you know? Yeah. B5. And Rook C6 idea. And a D5 idea. B5 looks actually very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll guess rook c6, yep, and rook 7 and 85. Let's go! Oh, oh. oh nightmare difficulty. <laughs> okay, I'll solve it. Maybe a nightmare, but not for me. Maybe it will be. Who knows? <laughs> this? No! It is actually a nightmare for me. Whoopsie doopsie! Um, I'm okay. Yeah, I thought bishop e2, knight d3 takes queen e2. I give a check and g2. Mm -hmm. Guess it isn't. Eh, nee. 
What do you want me to play? I mean, a G6 looks good. Oh, they're actually very good in G2. Basically, a queen. Yeah, <coughs> makes sense. Rook B2, King B2. Rook C3 is interesting. BC, basically, Queen A2. Now then I have rook a3, so rook there, yes, queen d8 check. I may go like king a7 or king b7, queen d7, king a6, rook a3 idea. Oh, yes, queen a4, but then I have b5. Hmm, rook a3 looks extremely good. No way, I just didn't challenge. Yikes! It's <laughs> a face bomb. Yeah, I could have basically literally wait for like half an hour and get it opened. Open it. They would have been like, what? But somehow, I'm 100% sure I made a challenge. Somehow it wasn't there. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> Yeah, I was like, oh, let's check. Let's deny my challenge and create a new one. And I'm like, wait, I didn't do it, create it. How? Oh. Uh, seems like knight e6 is interesting. Basically, it takes bishop f5 then. Knight f5, there is bishop h6. Knight h6, there is rook g6. And that is interesting. No, it's not good. It was interesting. Uh, but not good. Okay, rook g8, I guess. I just take the queen. Uh, oh, okay, knight of six. There we go. Okay. I think yeah, I had the same idea. But it was not the right move order. Alrighty. Uh, nightmare difficulty. This time I won't say it's not a nightmare for me. Okay. <laughs> so jinx it. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Bishop d6 just cut enough of a knight. Looks quite cool. Or cool. And rook f2. I want to play rook f2 now, but then he has like knight f4. So I'm not so sure. Oh, I got an opponent. Let's go. Playing Skiller Ski Call 98. Good luck. He's from Czech Republic. Good luck. Okay, that's interesting. He said he has d4. Let's take. Should be two. G3, is he going for F6, C5? Yeah, he does. You know, D4. When I fight, maybe D2 should be quite good. Let's try D4. I'm sure if it is going to turn out good. But I don't want to allow him to play E5. Well, he can play it. I think it is fine. E5, knight 6. Then, okay, just takes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take with a queen. This. Oh, maybe, maybe I need to allow him play an e5 and then just play like e3, d4. Uh, maybe, maybe. Alright, like queen d3. Should be 492. <laughs> yeah, like that. Mm hmm. I'm not sure if it is going to be good actually. <clears throat> but it is interesting. Okay, bishop e6 from my opponent, Skiller Ko. Bishop g2, just develop. Maybe before play like queen b5, bishop d7, queen 7, b8, queen e4. Very weird, but maybe it's fine, I'm not sure. Uh, I can also try this and that. This basically means bishop g2, knight b4, then queen d8, rook d8, knight a3. And like castle, I'm not sure if it is good. Mm hmm. I can try a3. 
Maybe A3 is actually the best. Damage or I mean A3, preventing B4. Jumps? Um, not sure. A3. Option G2. Um, I'll go for Bishop G2. I guess I will. Yeah, let's go for it. It's really interesting, but feels like I let don't develop. He'll play like Bishop C5 or Queen B6. Bishop C5, and I'm not so good from what I feel. You can even launch that castle there, and they think will be fine. Then I think Knight B4 is likely to be played from him. Pretty sure it is. Okay. Knight b4. Basically, I miscalculated queen b5, bishop d7, queen b7. Yes, knight c to check. And if king goes to d5, there is bishop 6, I lose. If king f1, there is rook b8 in between, and then knight a1. Yeah, he still has to find knight b4, though. Just think he will find <laughs> with relative ease. We will see. Maybe he, find it, he found it, but he's not sure if he should play it or not. That's also seen. <laughs> yes, knight d5, bishop e2, knight c3. I'm not sure. It's going to be good. But yeah, if, I think if he won't play knight b4, I'll be more than fine. If he will, we'll see. <laughs> Okay. Now it goes for bishop b4. Alright, that's interesting. I'll go for knight d2. Could go for knight c3, but then he has knight c3. Pretty much bishop c3, queen d3, and they lose. So, uh, yeah, I mean, okay, cancel. <laughs> Not a big surprise, definitely. I think I'm going to castle back. Hold on, castle. Yeah, of course. I need to castle and I find I needed to do it and I finally did it after a while. Yeah, if knight f4 I just take and queen d3 e takes d and like f takes e idea. That is interesting, yeah. I'm not sure, it feels like with bishop b4 check he slows the advantage. Maybe, maybe he didn't. Knight c3 is interesting. Queen d3 d3. Oh yeah, that is actually... Okay, he just takes. Alright, I'll take. Hmm. <laughs> okay, then this. Hmm, okay. Um, feels like he wants to simplify the position. But quite a lot. Okay, I'll play queen e3. Think he'll take my g to them. Uh, yep, of course I'm taking back. This. So basically bishop h3 is this threat. I think I can go for rook fd1. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Bishop h3, I'm not scared because I just have king h1 pretty much. You can g1. Or even king h1 pretty much. And I'm not scared of that. If queen c6, even like queen f3 may work. But I think I may go for f3 or, or king g1. <laughs> Those are like two favorites. F3 is really like weird, <laughs> but interesting. Oh, you know what? I actually is going to. Um, uh, actually, I'm going to try F3 because I mean, basically, it is interesting. <laughs> Maybe it's not the best, but let's try it out. To trade the rook, at least it tries to trade the rook. <laughs> yeah. Actually, if I want to, because trades, trade, trade, I just give him the D file, and then I'm not sure if that's what I really want. Alright, let's play okay c1. I think he'll like reply with queen a6, or something. No, he takes. Alright, if he take, I think I can take back. If queen stuff, like queen d2, pretty much. I could have taken 6, but then b takes and 2 rooks are quite good, I think, against a queen. As always, so okay, just one straight the queen also. 
Alright, let's calculate it because basically takes, takes. I need to see because A takes B, rook D6, rook A2, rook E6, rook B2, rook B6, rook E2, king H3, like king G1. <coughs> Takes, takes, rook d6, takes, takes, takes. Just can g1. I mean, looking quite fine. So go for it. Rook d6. Takes on a2, I think, taking on e6, t takes. Okay, does not. Alright. Then I guess e4 is the move considerable. Um, I mean, rook b6 is also considerable, but then rook a2, rook b7. And yeah, so a3 or a4. I think a4 he has bishop b3. And then like, you can go to d7. He moves to b7. Rook a6, a5. If he goes for rook a6 with my b3 pawn hanging, he can try like b4. But basically if a3, rook a6, I already go b4. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Let's see a bit. I mean, a4, rook a6, b4, rook a4, this. It's like rook a2, and rook e2 doesn't look so good. So let's just go for a3, just like some sort of technically a kind of quiet move. a takes. Then I have like rook d7, I think. He moves his king, rook b7. Yeah, let's go for a d7. So basically, usually you want to attack your opponent pawn from back, from the back, and you basically want to defend your your pawn also when you are trying to promote it also from the back. So that's why I am going for this. Uh, yeah, not not the other way around, because then you would have like bishop d5, and an easy way to defend his pawn actually. But okay, yeah, let's just go for like bishop c1, because he cannot move his rook technically, because the pawn is going to fall. Uh, but he can do this with b5 idea. That is true. Oh, I'll go for e4, I think, then. Uh, yeah, I think that should be fine. Then he'll probably reply with b5. Yes, he does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe bishop c1 was the best move. I'm not sure. Maybe I need bishop c3, bishop c4, bishop b4. Maybe. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, when I'll analyze the game, we'll see. Oh. Bishop b3, rook a3, bishop c5, rook a2. And you want to just second the pawn, but then b2, bishop c4. Mm, yeah. uh, h4 and then g4. Interesting. That's right. So basically, it's idea or threat is h5. And uh, if he goes for h5 by his own, I have like g4. And she takes h through g to 7 idea. If he takes h takes g, I can go f takes g. And like h5, h6 kind of stuff, I think. Yeah. Looking interesting. <laughs> but feel free to play bishop f7. <laughs> then I'll have h5 foot in the bishop. I can take the pawn, but I'll probably win the bishop. Ah, uh, yeah. If he'll go for h6 and h5, he cannot take us of rook g7, g4, that's really scary. So can h7, bishop e3, then rook a3, bishop c5, rook a2, king g1. Okay, he goes for h5. Uh huh. Go for g4. Yeah, takes. If bishop g3, and you can f3, I think. I think what he can go for, theoretically, is bishop d3, protect by king g3, yeah, uh, king f3, and then he plays rook c6. Ah, that is possible. This, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's what he's going to go for. I will see, I was thinking he'll go for knight b4 some moves ago, but he didn't, so. Yeah, what I think he will go for doesn't mean that he will go for it. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, king h7. They're scared of me. That's good. Okay. You may try this bishop d3 thing. So maybe I can go rook d7. 
If you went in, oh, but then bishop b6. No, 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 no. I don't think that is good. H5, bishop d3, king e3, rook c6. Okay, h5, bishop d3. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going like not super calculated there. I just know what I'll go more or less for. And yeah, we'll see <laughs> whether it will turn out well or it won't. Okay, just go so king g though. Mm -hmm. That's actually nice, I guess. Uh, I can go for <clears throat> g5, but I think I'll go for h6 and it just hung upon. <laughs> Okay, this. I didn't, maybe it's not so scary as sometimes I do blunder upon. It's not like rook a3, f g5, f takes g, rook g7, king h8, rook g5. Okay, let's go for g5. Pretty much if f takes g, then rook g7. I won't pre move, of course. Okay, he does go for it, rook g7. If king f8, rook a7, I win a rook, so he will go king h8, of course. Then, yeah. Here, I'll go for rook g5. Oh, uh, pa 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 mia. Yeah. <laughs> King h7. And I guess a bishop f8. Bishop f8 or, or, or bishop g7. Let's go bishop f8 like already. Stopping him from pushing. He has rook a8 here. She may go for. Yeah, he does. But then I flank bishop c5. Just like provoking him to play rook 8 and then bishop g6. I think I'm more than fine. Uh, bishop g6. Basically rook e6. I think I can take on e5 with no, no big deal. Uh, okay, this. Then I'll just take. And it seems like he wants to trade the rooks. It does. And that's basically a draw. Very cool game, I think. I think if he would have played knight b4 instead of bishop b4 in the opening, could have win. And draw, thanks to game Killer Co 98 is from Czech Republic. That was actually quite sweaty. Good game. Smile. Thanks. Smile. Alright, well, let's check this game out. Uh, pa -pa -pum. Let's open the actual chess base. Okay. My internet games. There we go. There it is, and there it is. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yes, okay, let's get started. This is this, this. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, d4 was already worse. Yeah, basically, that's a mistake we just kind of threw everything when I b4. Yeah, basically, I calculated this, rook d8 only move, knight a3, yeah, like b6, save in this pawn. Castle, you can just go like, oh, rook d2, and he would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, knight d2, this, this. And then next thing. Yeah, knight c3 was worth trying, that was also what I was talking about. And knight c4, this it would be much comfier here, yeah. Knight a4, the great move, and then basically pretty much we trade it away. And an opposite colored bishop, and usually opposite colored bishop, even with rook, is very, very calm. I was kind of hoping you won't find that. He didn't. Like bishop d3, then just... Ah, I don't care, and then rook b5 actually works, or just rook g7, and if rook 6 just play bishop Yeah, I was kind of wanting, wanting for go for that, so basically I was thinking like, okay, bishop g3, I'll play king f3, then here, 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 I'll go rook d7, this king g3, pretty much the same position. Yeah, and it would have been a draw. But okay, I played king, h, king g8, this, then we trade it. And then basically didn't want to play for win because it was complete draw. And here I for draw and he accept and draw the game skiller core ninety-eight. He's from Czech Republic. Good game. That's very cool game. Mm bum game some play chess. There we go. It is six games. That is very, very cool. Let's go let's close the chess base and let's play against Grandmaster Fritz. Uh new game. Why do you think?
Yeah, let's go. Let's turn off the hands and good luck, Mr. Grandmaster Fritz. Let's do this. All right, double fianchetta. Take us. Take bishop g2. Let's just castle. Hold on. Let's drink first to not have any mouse slips and not play accidentally king f1. <laughs> okay, let's go for knight e5 here. Yeah, knight f6, d7, that's interesting. But then I think like d4 should be whether or not right. Yeah. Hold on, d4 takes. On d4 takes, takes. d5 pawn hangs here to go for e6, then I have like h3. I think I should be alright. Yeah, he's slightly better. Yeah, but basically the bishop hangs, so he has to take my knight or play bishop e6. Which I'm 99.99999% sure he won't do. Um, so he goes for knight e5, right? I think so. Yep. Now knight c6, that's what he's calculating. Okay. And I can just like take on d5. Knight d5, bishop b7. Then I like bishop d5 or something. So I guess knight c6 is likely to happen. Uh, yep, okay, he's sinking. Usually when he's sinking, he doesn't like it is equal, but he thinks that I'm slightly better. I can say I can do bishop d5 and then just knight c3. I think that's pretty much... Oh, no. Oh, calculate queen c8. That is actually very interesting. Or queen b6. So he just doesn't want to even take the pawn. Okay, makes sense. Could have go for queen d5 immediately, which maybe would have been better than what I've done in the game. Maybe h would have been better, I'm not sure. Okay, he goes for queen b6. Takes f3. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Oof. Mm, that doesn't look great. Oh, pa pa pa! I can put my bishop. I can play knight c3, then there I like queen c2. Oh, uh, let's go knight c3. Okay, that's actually not the mistake. I was actually thinking this will be a mistake. It just has an edge, so it has like so small advantage, just like 0 0.2 or something. I think when you have an when it says someone has an edge, it's super small advantage. So yeah, probably doesn't have like plus three advantage uh, yet. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll not have it in this game. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's let's try. Okay, here. Then I'm more than fine to go for this, of course, because moving my rook away would not be good. I'm pretty sure. Woohoo! I think that may have been a huge blunder for me. Just give me like better, like plus one something. Here I can try like bishop c3 and rook c1. Pushing. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to. b4 is also interesting. Like b4 knight e7 and like bishop b7. Oh. Okay, that's really interesting, though it sounds very, not scary, but it sounds very, like, screamable. No, I'm just kidding. It seems very weird, but I think it may be working. You can even go, like, for queen e1, trading the queen off and not caring about the position. <laughs> that's maybe the thing I will do, because, like, bishop d5, queen e5, bishop d5, I'm fine. Queen e1, queen e1, rook e1, knight e5, I win a pawn. If not, then I'm better. Let's just play queen one. That is actually a nice move. Let's go. Yeah, basically simplifying the position. Simplifying the position. As you can see on pieces here, rooks are decent for us. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I think this rook, of course. Uh, yeah. Then my bishops are great. His bishops are fine. One is fine, one is great, I think. My knight is great, his knight is fine. Uh, my pawns are great. His pawns are okay. And my king is great, his king is also great. Right, I think rook e d1 here. Yeah. He is calculating bishop to d5. Alright. Uh -huh. That's interesting. This is and this is, and I'm basically opposite color bishop. I mean, I'm, I'm not having problems playing that. Go for bishop d5, bishop b7, having the rooks, or I can go rook d5. And then all this stuff. I think I will go for. 
uh, for this, the 95 Amperature is the move which is he go easy move which he's going to go for. Yeah, I think here I can just take. Yeah, I'm slightly better, right? But yeah, I know. Maybe it was the best move. But I want a pawn so badly. Okay, rook b8. Mm -hmm. And I think like. Going to G three even is is quite fine I think, or I can go to like Rook D one. That's maybe what he wants from me. I mean, he, what he doesn't want from me, like Rook C one with Rook C eight idea. Ooh, let's go. That's interesting. Rook C one Knight of three takes takes. Then Rook seven. Ooh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ninety seven. I'm clearly better here. He says. Bishop G seven. Is I think very good. Can G7 root C7? Root 7 immediately is also fine. I think Bishop G7 is better. Nice. Yeah, Rook B7 I think is the move which is he what he'll go for. Mm -hmm. uh, I can go for Bishop B2. I can go for Bishop D4. I think I'll just go back to B2. Because <laughs> I don't need anything crazy very much. Uh, then I guess like a four in more space. Yeah, it was clear. I'm um, clearly better. So clearly better is like plus two advantage about. Oh, all right, let's advance my king. Knight of six. I'm going to take. I think. Yeah. And then like rook c. Eh. Rook c eight or rook c six. I'm not sure. I mean rook c eight going back. That's what I was teaching you in li real life opening game. Ah. Uh, Rook c6 and then rook a6 and then giving him not yeah I think I'll go for that <laughs> so basically king of seven like rook a6 so his rook cannot go from seventh rank his king is addicted to that point yeah basically I think it should be better um it's like h3 is interesting uh, and then let's go for g4 I'm not sure about g4 okay goes for h5 uh huh. Okay, let's think. Let's think. Um, I can go for e4. <laughs> yeah, let's try e4. Yeah, I'm not sure. Basically, f e of g f g it should be fine. Okay, this will take h4. Okay. Can I re? I'm not sure about that move. But okay, g5 f5. And basically, I can just like push in b4, a b5, etc. Maybe b4 now is good, and like rook b7, like trying to force him to go. Yeah. Now let's go for a3. Because I'm pretty sure I cannot lose here. Ooh, f5. Not sure about that move. It like gives away the pawn, g f g f rook h6. But then here he has king g7, rook h4, rook c7. Rook h5, rook c3, king g2, rook h3. Oh, I'm not sure. Because, I mean, I guess playing g5 also doesn't do much. Try like king e3, then rook e7, king d4, rook e4. King d4, rook e4, king d5, rook e4. Uh -huh. Also, there's a passive there. So, I'm not sure. Alright, I guess we'll do this. Yeah, I'm not sure about that move. Ooh, I think after that it should be better. But bam, then I'll clearly take. Okay, he goes for rook b5. Here I think I'm like very, kind of close to winning. Because his idea is a5 and my rook is far away. So I'm not winning directly, but kind of close. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> yeah, I think basically rook h6, a5 takes, takes. King g3, rook h3, king h4. I just play king g5. <sighs> Well, let's go rook h6. Uh, maybe that's the best move. Okay, here I think I'll just take. And king g3. Oh, I threw it. Oops. Uh huh. Maybe I need it. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, I need king e3, king d4, and go from that side. Makes sense. So yeah, it's hard. It's going to be hard to lose this, but I'm better. Not clearly better. Yeah, I just have an edge now. Oh, my advantage! Alright, let's just go back and forth for a bit. 
I understand that if I go back and forth, I'll get nothing. And understand I need to go for king g5. And understand that I'll take. And understand that maybe I can win this. And understand that now I'm kind of winning. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think. King g6, right? That'd be good. Rook b6, king g7. B5, king g6, rook b6. I just can check and I'm not sure. Hold on. Uh, or, or, or go for king g5, but then king f8. f5, yes, rook b6. And basically, f6, rook b1 is fine. So I guess if trying to win, I need to go for this. Now, let's go for king g7. Alright, f5. Now looks good. Uh -huh. King f6. There we go. Let's keep it up. Let's not take it easy. Okay, think check. It won't hurt. Oh, king g7 then. Yep. I've decided to advantage. Let's not come. Let's not take it easy. King f7. Now f6. Oh, did it through it? Oh, no. Uh, maybe I did. Hopefully not. Well, maybe I did. Okay, okay, one I think is fine. Yeah, okay, one. Decisive advantage. But it is like plus three, I think. Because decisive advantage is like plus two something. And yeah. Okay, rook d1. I'm winning, okay. Why did I see that? Uh, no, I feel way too comfy. Alright, king g7. King f8, uh, f7, rook g4, and I'm just playing like rook g4, right? I mean, I can, wait, rook g1, right? Hold on, rook g1, king d7, yeah, basically king g7 idea, and king d7, king g7, king d7, rook g1, let's go rook g1, uh, and there we go, nice, <laughs> let's go, you basically threw draw, but... But I could through win in position like I think. Oh, an excellent game. Fritz resigns. Good game, Grandmaster Fritz. Thanks for playing. Let's actually analyze that. No, 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 classic menu. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. There we go. I mean, I could have analyzed, but let's do enter and analyze. Okay. So basically, in front analysis, he played like. That was interesting opening, you know. Or this, this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This. Queen b6. Yeah, that was like a mistake. Completely. You had to take. Uh, and basically I just take. He plays rook d8, this. And bishop e5. And that's equal. Because now I kind of didn't have an... I, I did have an extra pawn. This. That is nice. I trade off the queens. This. I'd like some bear advantage. This and rook c1, I really enjoy that move. It's like a neck c to go for an d3. And basically get an opposite color. Oh no, oops. <laughs> basically get an opposite color bishop. And here it would be easier for him to hold. Like, I don't know, can I fight? In g2, I'm slightly better, but still. Okay, bishop g7 takes. Basically, yeah. Then rook a6 is rook and king r. Are like, yeah, they can go away because his pawn is going to battle. This, oh, what's your winning? No, nah, not really. Plus two. Uh, okay, rook h6 was like a mistake. Uh, yeah, king e3, I thought about this. And then after rook d7, then just go for rook h6. Oh no, just go b5. Yeah, I forgot that I can basically just push my pawns and I'm better here. Makes sense. Okay, this is. Then yeah, a5. You ready to go for rook a6, take, take, and then rook a5. But okay, I mean, that didn't really hurt. No, I did. it actually did kind of hurt through it. Uh, that's basically was, that basically was a mistake. Like, every single move, basically rook a6 probably is the best. But there's a fine take, take, three before these. Then rook b3, I go king g2, he goes this, this, here, here. King g7, rook f5, let's type after the move. 
with more chances to win. Yep. Okay, rook a5, king g3. Mm -hmm. And basically that was complete draw. I decided to go to try to win. Yeah, basically that was already, I think, a not decisive mistake, but a big, kind of big mistake. Just king f8 or king g8. And let's draw. Okay, king e8, king g6. It is still... Oh, king f6 would have been better. Okay, that was a mistake from me. I uh, yeah, gave away the advantage away. Gave, gave away the advantage. I gave away the advantage. I gave away the advantage away. Oh, that's funny. Okay, rook b6, then just play king g7. Basically, rook b5, rook f7, or... I, I can I could have just done this. And rook a4. And king e6, king g6. And rook e4. And I win. It makes sense. Yeah. Okay, rook b6 uh, actually was a blunder. He had to go for sick in here. Yeah, and then basically a 5 go king g8. Wait, is king g No, 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 king g8 is made a little. Oops. Yeah, kind of, I think, yeah, rook g3, king f6, king g8, and that's a draw. And after king g7, I think I didn't lose the advantage anymore, right? f5, yes, king f6 is good. Otherwise, my king would be cut and that would not be good. Then king g7, rook g2, king f7, this, f6, this, here, here, rook e d1, cutting his skin off, this, this, and then just rook f3, rook g1, this, this. This, this, and here he gave up. And I want to give Grandmaster Fritz. Let's save this game. That was very cool. Oh, yeah. Very nice game. I didn't use my most... Yeah, didn't use my whole potential, kind of. He had chances, but didn't use them either. All right, I think Bishop d6 is the move. Yes, it is. And here, rook f2, I think. Knight f5, just rook e2. Just, let's say, kind of don't care about my bishop. Just attack, yeah, nice. It's so, like three or four more correct puzzles. Okay, g takes f, g takes f, knight f6, rook d3. g takes f, this, this, knight f6, this, this. Um. Interesting. I love like takes up knight of six idea, but I'm pretty sure it's not working very well. Oh, I think GF takes in B4. Uh, not sure. Maybe hold on. B4 immediately. G takes F. Uh, but yeah, seems like with b4, knight b7 looks very, very cool and scary. Hold on, knight f6, rook d3, rook d3. Uh huh, uh -huh. and rook d3, and then just knight five. And puzzle is done, three more, correct? And flash is three, black, and move, black to move and win. Challenging, okay. Seems like my g3 with a fork looks extremely, very, extremely good. Extremely, very good. I think I will go for it. Yep, and puzzle is done. Two more. Uh, 24, 0, 4, white to move and win. Tough. They think you basically sacrifice a queen, because he's made, his said threat is mating one, and then a takes b, 96, and just promote to a new queen. And basically, I just want to rook like that. And last puzzle for, for today, maybe. Let's solve If I solve it correctly, it is going to be. So, let's try to solve correctly. Um, okay. What do we have here? My rook on f1 hangs. You can try playing like rook f6. Something on, like, I don't know, rook h6, rook h8. I mean, the fact that my rook is hanging, I think that is quite nice defense, huh? <laughs> I'm not sure if it is going to be the best though, but it is definitely interesting, because I kind of don't see another way how to save my rook. I think rook f6 is the move, yep, and then here rook b8, or rook h6 is very interesting, or rook a2 f3. 
Mm -hmm. uh, rook h6 or rook e2 f3. Rook f3 has queen e5. Rook h6 also has queen e5. Mm -hmm. Rook e6 is also, I think, worth considering. But then he has queen b4. And then I have queen rook b3. Mm, maybe actually rook e6, just like not go how it's planned, you know? Uh, uh, uh. I think actually just rook e6. Yeah. And just take. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was thinking, no, I don't know. Yeah, something weird happened. I was thinking rook b3, of course. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, here I think it's just unpathant. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking rook b3, rook b, and rook a6, and like, ah, who cares, just like rook a6. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny, but then on profound puzzle, give the victory. So, oh, I'm not even top 100. I'm <laughs> 101. <laughs> oh, if not this failed puzzle, I would have been like 90s. Okay. Oh, one more. Okay, let's 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 go for it. I feel quite 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 confident that I'll solve it. Yeah. If not, then I'll solve one more. Queen b5, bishop b7 threat. Queen b5, bishop a6, bishop queen a6. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pam. Pa -pa 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 -pam. Queen b5, rook a8 immediately? No. Bishop a6, queen a6, rook h8. There. Then I may go for rook c5. And rook b5. Go for it. Queen b5. Ooh, slagging. Yes. And take the bishop. And now I think knight a5. I'm not exactly sure. But I have a strong feeling that it is good. Knight c5, like, is the same. But I don't know why I have a feeling that like h5 is better, because basically, knight c5, <coughs> queen h7 or something, not so many threats, so knight a5, let's go. And here I think, like, rook c5 is going to end the game. We'll still have to think of it, <laughs> to be exactly sure. Oh, I haven't seen, is it white to move and draw? No, definitely not draw, because I had enough material to draw. Uh, so it's either rook c3 or rook c5. I think Rook C five like is like kinda wild, you know. Um but if it's correct, it is all good. Mm. C three is like a four for some go rook c five. C five ninety seven, queen d six, king a eight, queen d seven, queen of one, rook c one, queen d three, king a one. And c4 is actually a quite interesting move from him. Um, um, Hold on, even queen b5, rook c7 is interesting. Maybe just so much easier. Queen b5, king a8, rook c7. Queen b7, threat, you can go for queen f1. Queen f1, oh. Of course. There we go. Nice. So, I am 95. Let's go. All right. So, I'll finish this very awesome stream. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then yeah. Please follow me on YouTube and on Twitch. And yeah, as usual, please like button and subscribe to me. Please answer the Please join me in chess. Please comment also please my Discord. If you will join my Discord, you'll get notifications when I start streaming on Twitch and when I post videos on YouTube. Link in the description. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. See you soon. See you tomorrow. And see you tomorrow. Stay cool.